all right guys so let's talk about some of the jungle changes that they've done to this game i honestly think that they've added some little things here and there that are going to change the jungle drastically and long story short people are going to have to learn how to jungle all over again so one of the first things that i want to show you guys is whenever you actually start attacking a camp notice the health bar you're going to see the health bar and then you're going to see a different bar beneath it you see we have the orange health bar and then there's like a like a whitish yellowish bar beneath that now the whitish yellowish bar is actually a timer and i'll explain you can now hide a camp out of its area and they will follow you until that timer runs out and when that timer runs out then they're gonna reset you're gonna also get a visual indicator on the camp itself because it's blue until they exit and once they exit the camp will turn red that's how you know the timer has been activated and the moment that timer runs out then it resets why this is going to be a benefit this is going to be able to help you reduce the actual rotations if you time it properly now i'll show you what that's going to look like right now but another thing i want to point out before that is if you look at the health bar there is now a little v marker like a little triangle that's basically a smite indicator and now it turns red a full triangle that lets me know that if i smite right now it will kill so what i'm gonna do is i know that it'll kill now i'm gonna kite it out of the camp get as close to the next camp as possible and i'm already here interestingly enough you're only going to be able to see the actual health bar indicator on the larger units so as you see these little health bars they don't show the indicator for the smite but the bigger health bar on the unit does that's almost like a good indicator for your players it's like hey you should be smiting the largest unit in a camp not the smaller units so that's kind of cool now i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what these uh these little flowers are gonna be doing okay so these flowers are placed in strategic areas throughout the map usually in either little choke points that you can make cool plays in or areas of verticality where characters that don't have verticality can use verticality so i like the fact that they're adding verticality more ver verticality to the map i do wish that these flowers were a little bit more First of all, I, I wish that the design was a little bit more visible. Even like a colorful flower, you know, like red flowers for the red side jungle, blue flowers for the blue side jungle, Enemy instead of a little pod, so to speak. And I also wish that they showed on the mini map because these are timers that are very important to keep track of. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like whenever somebody that doesn't have mobility, like a chimera, for example, activates a flower. I slap it, position myself, and it'll hurl me in the direction that I was and basically treat it like a howitzer mine. Uh, the howitzer mine that explodes and throws you in a specific direction. This is it's essentially the same way that it works. Now you're gonna have basically two of those pods per jungle and you are gonna have, uh, and when I say per jungle, I mean two on the red side, two on the blue side, and you're gonna have side lane flowers as well. So for example, let's say you're the solo laner, you're fighting over the buff or you're getting ganked, you're trying to get come up with a quick escape. It's like, okay, let's smack this. We're going to go that way, bro. Bye. I'm out of there. So a lot of outplay potential is, is doable within these, right? Now, one thing that I wanted to show you guys is how you can actually improve your clear camps. So if you do it properly, you're going to be able to start the red buff, kite it out, kill it, activate this, and shoot yourself towards the next camp. Like, look, I'm getting low to the threshold. Enemy I'm going to kite it out. A good jungler siege. is going to be able to kite it out. Smite. Smack this. Shoot me to my camp. And we're going to go. And honestly, even if it's just that split second that you're shaving or that extra second here or there, specifically early, you're going to be able to just do so much as far as advancing your clear and as far as just kind of having more map presence. And hyper junglers, let's say like Fang Mao, you're gonna have the Chimeras of the world, the Graceless of the world, etc., are gonna be able to use this like crazy and abuse it. I'll show you another example here. We're nearing the camp, right? And my mid laner is gonna need help from me. Let's say my mid laner is over here, like, oh, I'm I'm getting ganked, or I got a lot of pressure, I, I need I need jungle help to relieve it. You know how it is. Mid laners are always gonna be asking for help. It's it's the nature of the game. One thing I could do is, in order to speed up my uh, tr travel time, 
I can immediately just use that to get closer to the enemy mid lane. You know what I'm saying? So characters that don't have movement built in are gonna be able to use that to be there a split second sooner unless they get in. Might have not been expecting that rotation from me. He might have been expecting me to rotate at a different time. But because that flower was there, I was able to cut down on that rotation time, be able to inflict a little bit more map presence, and then keep on going about my way. All right, so let's say we're retreating. We have to escape and we're getting chased, for example. These little flowers also are in key positions. They get able to use them as escape decoys for characters that don't have mobility. All in all, I think that whoever masters these jungle changes as far as being able to hide the camps in order to accelerate your farm, your clear, your positioning, and using these flowers to do the same, those are the junglers that are going to be thriving in this new environment and the junglers that are going to be ahead of the curve. But it is a learning curve that everybody's going to have to go through and basically everybody's going to have to learn to re-jungle again. But I love the fact that they made these changes to the jungle because it makes it more dynamic. Next thing, Omeda, change the actual jungle camps to do so they're a little bit different.